Nestled on the shore of beautiful Lake Ontario, the State University of New York at Oswego offers a rich tradition in the learning of modern languages and literatures. At Oswego, students learn from highly trained academics, participate in conferences and workshops, and engage in exciting dialogue with invited guest speakers. The Department of Modern Languages opens many windows to the world via study abroad programs, internships, overseas faculty-led initiatives, and Fulbright scholarships in foreign countries. Students acquire skills for life through the study of Spanish, French, and German, but they can also explore other languages such as Italian, American Sign Language, Arabic, Chinese, Japanese, and Portuguese. Besides cultural studies, the Languages and International Trade Program provides openings for careers in multinational management and marketing firms. A trip to a global city such as Paris, Vienna, or Buenos Aires, a workshop in Guatemalan weaving, a meeting with one of our guest writers and artists, or the study of the Enlightenment are all opportunities that make Oswego a place for the best experiences. And here is an example from Dr. Gonzalo Aguiar's class. Now, Dan, more Dan, estudia más que Soraya. So Adele has an advantage over Soraya. Elvina, in comparison to Alaska, Soraya, correct? Hey, Dr. Aguiar. I'm trying to understand the point you made about all those countries in Latin America. My major requires me to participate in a study abroad program in Argentina, Ecuador, or Chile. How can I feel more connected to the cultures of Latin America before going there? You know, I've been asked the same question by many of your classmates. Here's what I said to them. In my course, A Tale of Two Worlds, The Politics of U.S.-Latin America Relations, I am going to tell you stories you probably never heard about Latin America's rich cultural past and present. You'll have the chance to explore other stories, other traditions, other aspirations, that make up the core of what Latin America represents for millions and millions of people living there. We are going to read and discuss exciting short stories and comics that will help you understand cultural traditions underrepresented in mainstream media. You'll be an important part of this journey into the inner workings of Latin America like never seen before. That is why we're going to spend some time digging into Latin American art and cinema to gain appreciation for the role played by revolutions, political demonstrations, and other forms of social activism in Latin America. I hope to tell these chapters of cultural history in collaboration with students wanting to hear other important voices and experiences from the three Americas.